So, next up on the chopping block, XM Satellite Radio DJs Opie and Anthony. They're under fire now for airing joking comments about raping Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Will they be the next to go? Is radio cleaning house after the IMUS debacle? With me now, new city president, now new city president, Sonia Osario. She took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to so stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio, and also our favorite, stand-up comic, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, are ONA next? I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and Elvis didn't lose their job or Imus. It's funny, this is the thing, I, I, have, I don't know her, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that she has nothing to do with funny. So I'm going to speak as the expert on funny. Funny people should just be left to trying to be funny. What if, what if they're not funny? Then you made a mistake. But how many, listen, how many times has the unfunny, how many f unfunny rape jokes lead to rape? Like, no, I don't know how many jokes about rape there are. There's a lot. But your, your world is not funny. Your world is uh, next, <laughs> next on the big story. <laughs> My world is people trying to be funny. Well, I mean, you, you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. I'm a victim. I might lose a toe. But I'm trying to make fun of. I'm trying to make fun of anything I I think I can make fun of. Sonia, you know, what's happening now is the marketplace. Okay, is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's. I think the nation is just tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The nation. You know what? We're tired of things that is are just. Is this the nation? This paper and you? I'm, I'm, the, really I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and funny. You're speaking for the nation, or you're speaking for. Yeah, you know why? Because I remember six years ago doing uh, something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... You think they were trying to be funny? I think now people... In Do this you country, think they were trying to be are funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they're trying to be funny. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you Why are you in that business? I've been to your show once, and it wasn't very funny being a woman. It was in hilarious. Show, when you talked about... That's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her, and the joke is hilarious. It's called The Angry Pirate. And the lady who wrote it in, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant. And anybody who read it laughed because they know what funny... You're not living in the context of funny. You're living All in the context of have, fire. have every right to be as funny as they want. They can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not stations talking. You're not listening. talking. You, Sonia, you're not talking and, to who I talk and to. And you're not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, That's look at this. That's what it is. The marketplace More is More CBS speaking. radio firings. They've been, on the, they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house, or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is while you're reading that paper. It's the PC cops run amok. Do you think Who's she's a PC, PC cop? cop? Of course she is. She's, she has an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real, this is just what she has to say. We are outraged and oh, fired and fired an and fired. Name calling. I'm outraged. I am I'm, outraged. You should, be. you should be outraged. I am a fool. Now, if I called you a fool, ah! You know what? People are feeling a new sense of entitlement. Who are these to people in this country? Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement Patrice, so here's, to what, here's my question: How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead. An attempt that, that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. Throw that at me. Well, why the, not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may, funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. They, you, you don't know if anything is gonna be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything funny. Don't you think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny? It's possible, but I've heard them. I've heard them. You've em. heard a funny rape joke? Uh, I say a couple. Watch my HBO special. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Yeah, Patrice, will, Patrice says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you Wrong. Hit, her in the, hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin <laughs> as she walks no, around no, like, no, no. argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying to say. a violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body... It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then... Why are you laughing? 
She's outraged. It's called the donkey punch. It's whole humor that she has no Cheerful. clue what it we is. You have the same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't say just anything on the air. You can say anything you want. It might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should be able to be attempting. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If the, the president's wife, John? It why was trying it? to be funny. All right, Patrice, why aren't I hearing Al Sharpton complain about this thing involving Congress? Because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women. Well, it was involving a very prominent black woman. Well, where was she during, during young black? Everybody has their agenda. I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, excuse me. You but why I'm am I not hearing from Sharpton? Because it doesn't concern him. It's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda, and it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's well, representing the, just the hoe. The nappy-headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. Sonia? You know what? Women have been abused publicly in the media for too long and people are tired of it. This has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers, we're your consumers, we don't want to have to avoid everything in the street, we don't want to have to worry about what radio station we turn on and there is some really derogatory, violent thing to deal with. You're going to get all your with. information, uh, ma'am, is second hand from someone making you uh, aware that someone may have said something that you should be upset about. It's a shame. Your constituency, the, the people you represent aren't all victims in I this matter. Go. Patricia O'Neill, thank it's you much very much. Sonia Osorio, thanks to both of you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Time for big politics.